Can you believe it? It's nearly the end of another day. Well, actually, it's nearly the end of another week. Good God. It's apparently the end of a month anyway, because we're already in September. I don't know how the hell that happened. Anyway, we're moving the girls out of the last few hives out of the almond trees. So they finished their pollinating. As you can see, they've stopped flowering. These are only some babies, but... And we're going to have a crack at our pallets. So I think I'm back to my roots. Could be good, could be shit. We'll find out together. So I kind of figured that we've got Les's few little hives here on this kind of tiny little almond block that we did some pollination for. And I thought, well, there's a good opportunity to implement my mad pallet idea. And I thought, well, you know, I'll make up a few and we'll put a few into service and see if it works before I make up from several hundred of the things. So half of me wants it to be successful and the other half of me doesn't because if it's not successful, I won't have to make any more pallets. But if it is successful, it'll make the job a lot quicker. So. In that life in general, you know, yin and yang or something, isn't it? Or, I don't know, something like that anyway. <laughs> so the thought pattern is, we're just gonna wriggle the boxes forward, put the pallet down, put the boxes back on, and then we'll come back when it's dark and pick the girls up with our truck. Sorry, we're gonna just wiggle them forward. Oh, golly, if we're strong enough. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yep, that one's a bit heavier. <laughs> and the idea. My idea was we'll be able to have one strap for the two hives. So I don't know how that's going to work. These girls have still got some of the old clips. Well, some have got some clips. I think it's a good idea, otherwise I wouldn't be persisting with it, but... You know, we're all going to find out in a minute. Well, probably in a couple of hours. <laughs> that woke him up. <laughs> well, now I've shown him how to do it. I might just jump in the ute while he finishes the job. What do you reckon? We could play that music and he could give me a hand. Wonder if we could get something different other than little, 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 because I move awful quick when that's on. I need some of that music when I'm working in general. I'd like it if I could get that bloody quick in real life. Anyway, hopefully that works. But anyway, like I said, we'll find out shortly, because we're going to come back and get these ladies in a couple of hours. Just thought we'd get this sorted out, then we'll go and get the truck. And that's luck, we might be professional beekeepers almost. Okay, all you people out there with forklifts and all that shit, stop laughing at me. I'm on my journey, it's all good. Come along. Now back to general speed. Just going to do our last little one. That one's going to have to sit forward because it's a bit taller. So I thought I'd just put it on a pallet by itself so when I do some splits, it could be on its own little journey, can't it? That might have some bloody... Oh, don't tell the almond growers, but I think there's some almond honey in there, which is a bit heavy. Not that it's much good anyway. It tastes like shite. Ow! There we go. Very good. Now, if you're wondering why a bloke would put a single one on there, you'll find out when you we have to put the extra longer forks on here, and it would be very weird to have to take it off just for one box, so. <sighs> oh, I think it's all good. Then we'll be back when the sun comes down, or maybe not even have to be quite at sunset, but so about another couple of hours, we'll back and see if the crane actually works, won't we? Woohoo! I hope we're doing a happy dance when we actually load them up, otherwise that'll be sad. That wasn't very friendly. I parked right on top of a bee box for the lad, so he had to get out and get his leg stung off. Oh, I tell you what, he's committed. Oh, oh shivers, look out down the hole, break me leg, that'd be good. All right, here we go, we'll give this a crack, eh? See if we can get these pallets organised. Obviously, we're just pretending, really, with these little few boxes, but, you know, hell, you got to start somewhere. They're not happy they're going to sting me just to, just to make it justified. <laughs> anyway, I think we might put a bee suit on before we show you any more excitement. <sighs> Well, I suppose we should light a smoker just as me bloody look like beekeepers, otherwise that'd be no good, would it? Otherwise we'll just be pretending. Mind you, these few bees are just pretending anyway, but they were very important to these guys, so, 
you know, horses for courses, as the saying goes. I was just thinking on the way here, this is a whole different Pinterest pallet making crap, isn't it, where this show started three years ago. Hell, you can't even find pallets to make shit, so I had to go and get some proper hardwood. Well, that's not really true. I like to make it out of hardwood, so... We won't need too much smoke anyway, so hopefully... Hopefully my little tiny, tiny little bit of hessian left in here will work. <laughs> the other day I was fooling around by myself and the only bit of hessian I had left was a little bit of dried hessian in my smoker and another bit that had been in the trailer that had got all wet. That was entertaining. That didn't smoke very well. I didn't really tell the missus why it wasn't smoking so good. She was whinging and moaning. <laughs> it wasn't going so flash. And then the next day we got some nice dry hessian and she's like, wow, this is working so much better. I don't know, is this a different smoker? I said, yes, darling, maybe it is. I don't know. You don't, it's weird the things you just bloody just forget to mention sometimes to save being in the shit, isn't it? Enough digressing, the light's going. Let's get this thing organised and see if the little pallet loader up machine can handle it. Try not to laugh too hysterically, okay? John won't be laughing because he's got to help me lift them on by hand if we break this bloody thing. As he shakes his head. <laughs> I'll go and find some gloves. <laughs> As the sun goes down, it's time for the beekeepers to be awake. Out we pop from our little sanctuary in the darkness. My golly, this is a weird little life. The things that go on in the dark, I tell you what. You ought to see the bloody bee trucks going everywhere around here at the minute. Absolute bedlam. I was just thinking I'd taken my extension forks off the other day, so we'll have to put them back on before we do this bit. I'll just get the crane down here and we'll figure that out. I found this little toolbox under here where I store my hessian. And I thought that was a good place for them to live. Because then they'll be by themselves. And there should be a spanner in here that does the job too, if I'm lucky. Yep, here we go. Look at that. Bloody hell, you wouldn't want to be in a hurry, would you? It will be a real pity if it doesn't work after all this effort, won't it? Come on, who you? You're a believer. Oh, surely it'll work. The other day I was doing up this, undoing this bloody thing and one of the nuts was quite loose and I thought, well, that'd be right, wouldn't it? I'd only get here in the dark and have no nut to do it up with. <laughs> Instead of losing my marbles, would be like losing my nuts, wouldn't it? <laughs> that just didn't come out right. Somebody found my leg. That's an ant. I've got ants running up my leg. <laughs> I'm on the bloody top of a bull ant's nest. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> the bee suit doesn't keep bull ants out, let me tell you that for free. God damn it! <laughs> yes, get off! Shit! <laughs> oh, that was well designed, wasn't it? Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'll go over this side. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Yo! Now they're all up me leg, John. Shit! Right. <laughs> what the hell? Get off, you little bitches. Ah. Now, there's something I don't know. I wonder if ants are like bees and they're all gals or not. Because I think they might be because when you get a rain and all the ants decide to fly, I'm fairly sure that the boy ants grow wings and fly up to mate with the queen. Oh, they stink too when you crush them. I don't know if you've ever seen... Oh, fuck off! Damn it, you little buggers! There's nothing to be gained from you hurting me. Not like with my ladies, they sting me and at least I know there's something in it for me. Yow! <laughs> Stop it! Stop laughing! <laughs> Right. Go, <laughs> grief. <laughs> what entertainment. Oh, lordy. They're like little, little, little stealth on you. They got all up me leg before the first one bit me. How crazy is that? I swear I'm too big to be dragged down their hole. Golly gosh. There's a lot of mozzies around too. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, okay. But uh, ants up, you try and get ants up your leg. That's a whole thing, isn't it? Ants, pants, no, what was it? I've got ants in my pants. Oh, it's... Ah, oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Oh, at least I haven't got me ball bag yet, but damn it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop laughing, you. <laughs> I think I'm going to start up here so I can get the first one across a bit. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're going to find out if it works. I think the cameraman thinks I'm just wasting time. So <laughs> if it's in the dark, he won't be able to see me mess it up. Oh, 
They definitely made it work a bit harder. Now, where's the bloody middle? About there. Whoa! Well, okay, turn off the camera, we've got one on, stop! <laughs> then I can at least pretend it was a success! <laughs> Of course, we're on the side of a hill here, that doesn't help. Goodness me, there's a slight change of plans. <sighs> we were going to show you some lovely yellow flowering canola. You know what happens to plants, though, they just go poof out the window like you can't believe it. It's like the hell. We get a phone call last night that they're going to be crop spraying the canola that we're going to with some lovely insecticide that's going to be darling for the bees. So the ones we've got there, we've got to move. So we're driving around in circles trying to decide where we're going to go. So we've ended up here on the block because there's a little bit of flowers out the back here. So you know, when you get back home and, you're, and the missus says, how did you get on? Well, I've had a kind of a change of plans yet again. If you had a real job, you couldn't do that, could you? If you had a real job, you'd just go to work and get shit done. <laughs> but anyway, I guess this is a real job, maybe, kind of. <laughs> oh, golly gosh, I was just wondering now, where does the sun come up around here? I think the sun comes up over there. Now, of course, this time of year, you kind of want your bee boxes facing into the sun so that they'll wake up nice and early and go twiddly little and hopefully get another hour's worth of foraging in. In this hot climate in the Riverland where we live, generally try to face the girls into the sun in, in this time of year, which is basically winter, spring. I think we're just in spring now. By the time we do the next move and we get into summer, we like to face them away from the sun in the afternoon. So same way, really. So it all the all the time you hear where it's bloody hot. You face them into the sun. Where it's cold, I don't know, where we were down the southeast, the boys down there, they like to face it into the sun at evening time. So I have made that no clearer for anybody out there because this is the joys of beekeeping. It just depends where you are and what you're doing and where you're working and what you should do. So <sighs> one good thing about being on YouTube, we got an email from a concerned, concerned fan and he said, you do realise that if you have bees on a truck, you have to have these tie down straps, otherwise you'll get fined down here in Oz. So... Oh, there's an upside to everything. And Everu that was, cheerio, and thank you very much, because I didn't want to get fined. That would suck balls. I think that's more stable than it, a lot quicker. The only thing I'm a little bit hazard, hesitant about is how the hell I'm going to get the next layer up here off the ground. That could be fun. Might have to get some bloke who's six foot four to do the top layer. <laughs> ah! I'm thinking one change would be good is to actually bend the forks back just slightly because you see how it's on that bit of a leaning forward part? You don't quite like the fact that it's leaning forward like that, but mind you, you used to do that with the single boxes, and this actually feels more stable with two boxes on the little pallet than it did with the one. So, and it doesn't seem to be struggling with the weight. Although these girls aren't ridiculously full of honey or anything, but 
generally you don't move your boxes when they're full of honey anyway you take that off and then you do the next bit try not to move them when they're ridiculously heavy well, i think that's fairly successful i'd say that was good and not shit at all so <laughs> what did i say at the start could be good could be shit but i reckon it's good i'm gonna run with this so I think I worked out that this truck, roughly with this pallet system like this, will probably hold 100, 120 at the very max. So 100 is plenty anyway, or 110 or so. For what I'm doing, I think it's just bloody brilliant. So, sorry, Mr. Easy Loader. I can't afford one of yours yet, but eventually, you know, one thing at a time. You got to, what is it? You got to crawl before you can walk, walk before you can run. I'm not sure what the hell comes after running, but I'm nowhere near that yet anyway, so. I'm guessing I've nearly started to walk, so I'm almost out of the crawling stage. Boy, oh boy, and that's been three years on this journey, so... Hell, I wonder if I'll live long enough to actually get this shit sorted. Anyway, you guys are all going to find out. Don't forget, come along for the trip. Yo, oh, we've made it through another episode. Don't forget, click, like, subscribe, share. Hell, even go down and support us on the Patreon page, because, you know, every little bit helps.